Glenn, in the video, as we just saw, Snowden makes what I consider to be a, a rather remarkable claim, stating, quote, I, sitting at my desk, certainly had the authorities to wiretap you, your accountant, a federal judge, even the president, if I had a personal email. Let's make a distinction here. He didn't say that he had the ability to do it, for example, if he went rogue. He said he had the legal authority to do it. Did you follow up and ask him what legal authority that purports to be? That isn't what he said. He didn't say he had the legal authority. That's a word that you included in the statement that he didn't actually include. What he, he said meant authority was that given yeah, he said authority, not legal authority, which is what you just quoted him as saying. And what I'm telling you is that that is a misquotation because what he was clearly saying was that, and the point that you ought to be interested in as a journalist more so than the one that you asked, is that people who sit at the NSA desk, thousands of them, have the authority, meaning the NSA has given them the power to be able to go in and scrutinize the communications of any American. It may not be legal, but they have the power to do it. If this is really legal, why doesn't the government allow federal federal courts to rule on whether or not our constitutional rights are vi being violated as citizens. It's because they do everything in secret, which is why we need whistleblowers to come forth like Mr. Snowden so that we can have some transparency on, on political officials. Fair enough. The, the, the government comes in, makes the argument that this is protected by the state secrets privilege. Then a federal judge rules on that. And in this case, a federal judge has said that the state secrets uh, privilege was asserted properly. That is within the law, is it not? Right. Actually, that's not at all what happened. What happened was the ACLU went into court and asked for a ruling on the constitutionality of the law. And what the federal government said is, you have no ability to prove that your clients were actually eavesdropped on. You can't prove they were subjected to surveillance because everyone that we surveil, we keep that a secret. And therefore, your clients have no standing to sue. As journalists, I think our number one obligation should be not to allow government officials to scream terrorists and try and scare people every time there's transparency brought to them, but instead scrutinize whether those claims are valid.